Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today in this video guys, I'm going to do an in-depth review of this iFlight Zing 222 07 1950KV DC brushless motor guys. In addition to unboxing guys, I will also be telling you what are the functions and features which this motor has to offer. And towards the end of the video guys, I will also be telling you how to connect this motor onto your flight controller guys. So ensure that guys, you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that I have to share. Before we move further guys, if you're new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for my new videos let's get started so guys before we move towards the technical specifications and feature which this motor has to offer let's quickly unbox this and see the contents inside as you can see guys whenever you purchase this iFlight Zing 22207 motor guys it comes in this transparent packaging on to the top side guys you have the iFlight logo and then the iFlight branding onto the top there is nothing more on to the top other than the barcode and the labeling onto the back side guys let's quickly open this and see the contents inside as you can see guys this motor comes in the pair of four motor guys so this is used for the quadcopter build so if you're building octacopter guys you need to purchase two sets of these kind of motors as all these four motors are identical guys i will be opening only one of the box and walk you through what are the functions and features guys so let's keep these three box aside so here you can see guys whenever the motor comes it comes in this black box each individual motors is packed into this box guys onto the top of the box guys you can see there is a branding of zing advanced power system guys onto the side guys it has an instagram facebook and wechat qr code guys you can scan and follow iFlight if you want. On to this side, guys, it says it is Zing 2 motor. It is 2207 with power rating of 1950 kV. As I have told you guys, this 1950 kV is less than 2000 kV, guys. So this motor can be powered using 6S battery as well, guys. So as per the technical rating goes, which iFlight says, it can be powered using 3s batteries to 6s battery so it has a full range of operability guys so depending upon the power rating of your flight controller guys you can power this motor from 3s battery to 6s battery on to this side guys it has an iFlight branding on to the other side guys it has the links to the website instagram and facebook if you guys want you can visit the website guys so that is what you have on to the top side of the box let's quickly open the box and see the contents inside inside the box guys you can see it comes with top side foam padding so as to be able to protect it from any damage or scratches and then in addition to that guys it comes in this packet guys the propeller holder and the mounting screws guys that we'll see in a minute in addition to that guys here you can see inside the box guys it comes with the foam padding and to the center guys you have the motor so as to prevent it from any damage or scratches during the transport now let's quickly remove the motor so this is your motor itself guys inside the box you have nothing more it does not come with any user manual or instruction manual guys but in this video guys i will also be telling you what are the technical specifications and features which this has to offer and how to install this motor onto your flight controller so ensure that you watch this video till the end since there is nothing more inside the box i will keep the box aside as you can see guys in this packaging it comes with some of the mounting screws and the propeller holder nut as you can see onto the top it has a matching propeller nut onto the top so as to be able to install the propeller onto this motor guys so this is what it is used for and then it comes with four m3 mounting screws guys so ensure that guys whenever you purchase this motor guys your drone frame is compatible with m3 mounting screws so as to be able to mount this motor onto your drone frame guys so that is what you have in this packaging guys so let's keep that aside and then you have the motor itself guys as you can see guys this is a special edition motor guys with the shaft onto the top as it is a brushless motor guys your top side frame is going to rotate so as to be able to rotate your shaft and your coil is going to be stationary so that is how it works guys so as to be able to rotate this motor and then you can see guys there is a threading onto the top so as to be able to install the propeller onto the top and then tighten the propeller mount onto the top like this using this nut that came along with this motor guys in addition to that guys 
here you have the branding onto the top it's very difficult to be seen using the camera guys since it is a chrome finish it says it is zing 2 and then it is 2207 1950 kv motor guys so that is what the specification mentioned here onto the top of the motor guys so 22 is your width guys and 07 is the height of the motor guys so as to be able to calculate the volume of the straighter which in turn is proportional to the power and the speed and the torque of this motor which we will see in a minute how to calculate that on to the back side guys here you have the mounting holes as i told you before guys these are m3 mounting hole guys so ensure that guys you have a compatible drone frame so as to be able to install this motor so here on to the bottom side guys you have four mounting holes so as to be able to mount this motor onto your drone frame in addition to that guys it comes with these three wires so as to be able to connect this motor on to the flight controller guys as you can see since this is a three wire so it is a three phase motor so it requires a three phase supply so as to be able to operate this motor using the pwm signal guys you will be able to control the speed of the motor and the direction of rotations so guys that is what these three wires are used for so guys these are the physical specifications of the motor guys now let's quickly see the technical specifications so guys as per the technical specification goes we have seen on the motor it was written as 2207 1950 kv and 6s as the battery rating so 2207 corresponds to the torque of the motor 1950 kv corresponds to the rpm of the motor and 6s as you know guys corresponds to the rating of the motor now let's quickly see what all those number means and how do they relate to their corresponding features so as you can see here guys the torque is directly proportional to the straighter volume and the way you calculate the straighter volume is multiplying the width of the motor by height of the motor basically it's the area but then it's a proportional volume so here as you know guys the width of the motor is 22 and the height of the motor is 07 so you get an absolute value of 154 what does that mean so absolutely this number means nothing more than the volume of the straighter but since the torque is directly proportional to the volume of the straighter higher the number higher the torque so torque corresponds to basically the load bearing capacity of the drone so if you have a higher torque that means basically you can have the higher load bearing capacity of the drone so higher the torque higher the load that your drone can bear so this number in itself does not mean anything but then you can use this number to be able to compare it with other motors whether your motor that you have has an higher torque than other motor or not so that is what you can use it for comparison from one motor to another using this number but as a general rule you can think it as higher the value higher is the torque better is the load bearing capacity of the motor so the next specification that you have is the battery voltage here you can see it is rated as 6s battery voltage that it can support so 1s as you know translates to 4.2 volts so 6s corresponds to six times of this value which is 25.2 volts what does that mean so higher the voltage lower is the current consumption of a motor at a given wattage so as you know guys wattage is nothing more than voltage multiplied by its current so for a given rating or a given voltage of the motor guys or the power of the motor the higher the voltage lesser is the current consumption by the motor for a given power so as you know guys higher the current guys higher will be the heat generation by the motor so guys if you are operating a motor at a higher voltage you will be consuming less current so there will be less heat generation and better efficiency also guys as you know whenever you build a drone you have an esc with a given current rating so if you are operating your motors at higher voltage guys you will be consuming less current for a given voltage of the motor guys which is why you will be using lesser current and so you will not be overloading your esc or the motor and your esc will be operating at lower temperature as the current drawn will be lesser in addition to that guys you will also be 
draining your battery lower as you will be consuming lesser current so that is also one of the benefit of operating a motor at higher voltage so the next parameter here you have is the rpm rpm is calculated by multiplying the 1950 kv value with the voltage rating so here you have the rating as 1950 kv multiplied by 6s battery which is 25.2 which ultimately leads to 49140 this is your rounds per minute of the motor at no load so no load basically means whenever your drone is not flying and your propeller is not connected onto motor at the time of operation so you only apply the voltage or battery power to the motors and the motor starts spinning at this speed 49150 so like torque relates to the load bearing capacity rpm relates to your drone response or the speed of the drone so higher the torque higher is the load bearing capacity higher the rpm better is the response of your drone and higher is the speed of the drone so higher the rpm better is the response time and higher is the speed at which your drone moves so that is what it means so like everything guys here are some exceptions that i want to go through so wider the motor guys you will have higher torque because of the higher stator volume at the same time guys since your motor is wider the load distribution is farther away from the shaft of the motor guys which is why it will have higher inertia so whenever you have wider motor guys whenever you have a change in the rpm that you have requested it will take some time to slow down the motor or change the speed of the motor because of the inertial volume which is distributed away from the shaft so thinner motor guys will normally respond faster than the wider motor but then guys here you have the conflict wider the motor guys higher is the surface area and better is the heat dissipation capacity so as you know whenever the motor runs at higher speed it's going to draw more current so it will get hot so guys it needs an air or surface area so as to be able to distribute and dissipate the heat so that your motor does not get overheated or does not get damaged so you see guys if you have larger surface area you have higher rating of the motor and you can have more power with this guys you will have larger surface area but you will have lower response to rpm change so you will have to always find a balance between the volume of the stator and the response time of your motor so that is something that you need to consider so as i told you guys higher is the kv value higher is the rpm at higher rpm it's going to draw more current in addition to discharging your battery faster guys it will also generate more heat so you would need a wider surface area to be able to compensate for the heat so that it gets dissipated so that is something that you need to always consider and the last one guys as you know lower the rpm higher is the torque so there is a trade-off between the rpm and the torque as well as i have told you guys higher the torque higher is the load bearing capacity higher the rpm higher is the speed you need both of them to be higher but it cannot be at the same time as you would have noticed guys whenever you have higher load guys the rpm of the motor gets reduced so as to generate more power so as to be able to lift more weight so there is a trade-off so higher the rpm guys you will have lower torque and whenever you increase the load guys the rpm gets reduced so whenever you design the drone guys it is always good to consider to have three to one ratio between the torque to weight or optimally it could be five is to one so as you can see guys whenever you buy a motor guys you need to consider all these specifications so that these are all in balance so as to give you ample of torque ample of rpm and enough surface area so as to be able to dissipate the heat which is generated by the motor during the operation so it is important guys to select an optimal motor for the drone depending upon the load that you have or the size of the drone that you're building so these are the technical specification guys now let's quickly see how to connect the motor on to the esc so here as a general rule any drone would normally have an esc which is this this is called your esc or motor control unit which basically is connected to your motor the three-phase motor that you normally have the three wires coming in is normally connected 
on to your ESC which will then depending upon your flight condition will be able to deliver the power to each of the motor and also controls the direction of the motor using the control wires that is coming to this motor control unit from your flight controller. So you will normally have six pads on each side for a quadcopter which will be marked from M1, M2, M3 and M4. So you will be connecting three wires for each motor to this motor control unit and this is how your wiring will go but then ensure that guys you connect these motors in the right sequence and i'm going to tell you what does that mean so here you see when your drone is facing front your esc is placed like this the there are motor numbers you see here motor one two three and four which is also marked here on your ESC ensure that guys your motor 2 is your front side right motor so here you can see the left and the right direction the right motor on the front side is M2 right motor on the back side is M1 left motor on the front side is M4 and left motor on the back side is M3 so although guys in all modern flight controllers you can change this sequence you can change the direction of the rotation of the motor in the program but if you do this in this way in the correct way you will have lesser configuration to do in your flight controller to be able to operate it in a correct so there is no right and wrong you can always connect these motor in any sequence as you like as long as your flight controller has a capability to reorganize the motor and then arrange them in a correct way so that your flight controller knows which motor is connected at which place so that it can properly operate the drone so guys this is it this is how you connect your motor to your esc and this is a brief description on how to select the motor and what kind of technical specifications that you have on the motor so i hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video please do not forget to hit that like button if you have any questions or comment please leave them in the comment section below i will try and answer as soon as possible if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos thank you guys thanks for watching and clear skies